I guess to be blunt about it, Colonel, if you don't mind my asking, the question there is, is this all meant to send China a message? Because uh, as you pointed out, for instance, in this particular Balikatan, the French are joining for the very first time. We are doing Balikatan hot on the heels of MMCA, the Maritime Multilateral Cooperative Activity. So there's been a lot of, uh, you know, uh, joint drills, so to speak. So. All of this, and then suddenly now we're pushing beyond 12 nautical miles. We're going to go to the very edge of our EEZ to 200 nautical miles. Is this all meant to be sending China a message? Well, uh, the main purpose of why we took exercises is to demonstrate our combat readiness. Uh, and it is also uh, a showcase of our uh, new direct, the new direction of our foreign policy and our defense policy. Uh, what is not what I cannot uh, discount is the IO value or the information uh, benefit that this exercise can give to our partners and allies. So naturally, the uh, the message that we are sending to adversaries and also to our allies and also to our tradition, our uh, like-minded partners, is an after effect or uh, one of those uh, second and third order of effects of the exercise. But the primary reason why we conduct exercises is to maintain a high level of combat readiness among our troops and to see to it that uh, when we are done, uh, all issues regarding interoperability between our armed forces and that with the United States are uh, firmed up and uh, ironed out. In the event that we, uh, to say the, uh, to, so to speak, if in the event that we go to war uh, together, uh, we are sure that we are able to, in, uh, to be interoperable with one another in terms of our capabilities, our doctrines, and our leadership. Colonel, the Balakatan exercises will kick off April 11 to 28. Is that correct? Uh, I'm sorry. It's going to be April 22, and it will uh, last until May 10. Mm. What do we expect uh, in this year's Balikatan? I, I believe we have reported the largest... Um, Balikatan exercises ever. We are seeing photos also on social media of vehicles, tanks arriving. Uh, how will the Balikatan go? Yes, uh, we have uh, two major uh, activities when it comes to the exercise. Anna. We have the uh, command and control exercise, which is non-kinetic. It, it does not involve groups. Uh, these are going to be leadership and decision-making exercises. Uh, focusing on the non-physical domain, like information warfare, which just concluded last week. Uh, we will also be doing a staff exercise uh, involving the AFP uh, leadership uh, and also a cyber defense exercise uh, delving into the cyber domain. Aside from that, we will also be doing uh, physical, uh, physical exercises. Uh, the field training exercises are to be conducted all over uh, the country. Uh, except for Mindanao, uh, the focus of, the, of which will be in northern Luzon, extending all the way to the east, the western portion of uh, Palawan. So for, for this particular exercise, I've already mentioned the group sale, and we will also have uh, a series of live fire exercises. We are going to have uh, an insertion of the high Mars, and we will be firing uh, uh, rockets uh, facing uh, the western portion of Palawan. We will also be having an integrated air and missile defense uh, exercise involving uh, both the United States and the Philippine uh, counter air and anti-missile capabilities like our Navy Mistral uh, rockets and the Spider uh, uh, ground-based air defense system. And uh, lastly, we are also going to be having a, a maritime strike we will be sinking one of the decommissioned uh, Philippine Navy vessels off the coast of Lawag. We will be firing upon it with uh, ground-based artillery, naval gunfire, naval uh, rockets, and also uh, air count with our uh, uh, aviation assets, our F-A-50s, our uh, rotary wing assets, and together with the United States, they will be using their... Uh, F-35s, F-22s, and AC-130Js. Um, aside from that, we are uh, doing a series of service-to-service -service exercises, and we have four uh, NCAP projects. These are vertical construction projects 
uh, intended to build classrooms, health care, health uh, centers, uh, focused on areas where the exercises are also being conducted. Awesome. Wait, so, meron din na CMO component ang exercise. In terms of in terms of troops, how many did you say were participating? Uh, a total of uh, 60,700 troops will be participating, 11,000 of which will be coming from the United States, and 5,000, uh, over 5,000 will be from uh, the Philippine, uh, the Armed Forces of the Philippines. What is not accounted for uh, are the participation of other government agencies, you know, like uh, the Philippine National Police, the Philippine Coast Guard, the Department of National Defense, mm -hmm. uh, the IECP. Mm -hmm and also uh, the Department of Foreign Affairs and uh, the Presidential Communications Office. Uh, I, also did not, I also did not include pala the, you know, the participation of the Australian Defense Force, which will field uh, at around 150 uh, soldier officers and men uh, coming from the Australian Armed Forces. So we're talking more than 60,700 actually. Yes, uh, actually. Uh, I also do not include the French Navy, which should be said. Right. Mm -hmm. Colonel, we, we got to do a quick math now. Colonel, this is uh, happening right across central Luzon in many different locations across Luzon. Wondering lang no, kung kasama po ba yung Batane, since part din naman siya ng Luzon. Will we be going that far north when you mentioned earlier northern Luzon until Palawan? Yes. So Batanes is included? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay.